creating a Trello account, importing in the Trello GTD template, and then starting to use it with the GTD process of capturing, organizing, and processing. Here we go. Let's see if we can do this in just a few minutes. So first off, go to Trello and create an account. Please use your school district Google account to log in. Simply put, I would go like this. And I already have an account. I have a personal account and a school district one. I'm going to use my personal one because it's brand new and I wanted to show you what a basic account looks like before it's fully loaded up with stuff. And we wait for this. And by using the Google, it also saves you from having to remember all kinds of usernames and passwords for your various accounts. So hopefully that's helpful. And we wait. And we wait. All right. I can see that I already have a board here. But right now, what I want to do is I'm just going to leave this here. I've created my account. And what I want to do is I want to show you how to get the template. Now, in week 10, we covered this. If you click on this link, it'll take you to the template. Oh, hey, here's a video you're watching right now. If you go here, you can click on it, and this will get you to the template. And the template itself is something that was pre-built by a Trello user. And what he did is he customized it for GTD. And here it is. And I click Use Template. And you can create a team, and you can call it what you want. I'll call it GTD. CHS or for me and I'll click create and what it's going to do is it's going to it takes a moment here it's going to import in the board and a board is essentially you know like a whiteboard where you have post-it notes on it and you just move things around but you can do so much more with this so once you're learning the GTD process, you have projects, you have an inbox of all the things that are coming at you, you have next actions. These are things that are just something you can do that uh, usually range from a couple minutes to a little bit longer. And then you have things you're waiting for, agendas, calendars, you know, things that have a date or time dependent. Things that are done, you can drag here. And then things that you might want to get to at some point but don't have a particular time limit. And then references. These are things that you can use. Now, I want to show you this because he has built into this a lot of different elements about GTD. So if you're still trying to figure out what the heck all this is, go in here and check out these resources because he explains it. And he also has other resources that, as we learn more about GTD, are built into this board. And you can just leave that stuff there. Now, right here for projects and so on, as you capture things throughout your day and you want to add them in, it could be a next action. You can type a thing here and then just add it. If you decide that this needs to be a project because it's more detailed and you want to have steps into it, you can then click here and then go into, whoops, into, uh, here, let's save. If I just click on it here, you can make a checklist and you can call it whatever you want and you can type in thing one thing two, etc. And if I go like that, now I can see that this project has at least two things I need to do before it's done. All right, so that's kind of a quick review and we'll go into more detail about how this works. But I just wanted you to get it established and start capturing things and putting it in here and we'll spend more time on all the details later.